Well, we are out and about in Donny and having fun. Donny is a 1987 registered, August 1987, it's on a D plate registered the VW T25 uh, camper van. Uh, MOT for a year, 139,601 miles as we speak. However, that is going to go up a little bit because guess what? I am still using him. He's called. The previous owner tells me that he's called Donny because of the registration number. But um, my wife says that that's a bit, you know, when you look around and the soft furnishings and all that, might be considered a little bit of an effeminate chap. But I suppose in this modern day and age, he could be making up his mind. Possibly. Um, what's it got? Three way fridge, cooker, two burner with grill, and little sort of heated area for hot plates, for plates, keep plates on. Unusually a rev counter, Sony DAB radio with USB and all that sort of stuff. Uh, two tables, the front passenger seat swivels. As far as I can tell, the front, the driver's seat is supposed to swivel, but I can't make it do it. It's a bit silly anyway, because the steering wheel's in the way. Uh, if you look at the pictures, you'll see where the two tables fit in and how they fit together. Three former keepers, um, of which two names are known to me. The first owner had it for about two years, the second owner for ten years, the third owner for ten years, um, and then a couple of years, 32 years old in all. So. Years MOT as of April the something, uh, probably April the 10th. Um, what else can I tell you? He drives like a dream. I've done about 600 odd miles. Maybe a bit more than that. Yes, actually definitely a bit more than that. And I've loved every minute of it. Never let me down. Always starts. Um, if I'm going to leave him for any period of time, I do disconnect the battery because there's a clock and the radio and they do tend to drain batteries over a period. But it's only a 10 millimeter spanner and you're, you're done. Um, what else can I tell you? Just had new front brake pads. Advisories on the MOT, the front discs are scored, but not seriously. Uh, wheel bearing, uh, slightly loose, slight, slight play in one wheel bearing. And I think they commented that one tyre is close. I actually replaced two tyres, put two new tyres on it. And I told them to put two or three on, depending on what they thought. And they clearly thought that it only needed two. It's unusual, actually, for a garage, because normally they, you know, they um, pile as much onto it as they possibly can. But not on this occasion. It's rather refreshing. Um, four berth, four seat belts, two of which in the back are lap belts, which are fine with kiddie seats or with kids because there's nothing in front of them. Um, I have known people put uh, diagonals in, but it's not doesn't doesn't work very well, particularly on one side. But you've got to go through a cupboard, and that could actually cause problems in a major accident because you might pull the cupboard to bits. It's not actually sort of a rigid structure. It is rigid, but it's not rigid enough to withstand an accident or seat belt tolerances. Um, I think that's about it, really. Nice stroll in the countryside, enjoying Sussex. Can't beat it. There you have Donny.